let us try another example using our using our knowledge of differentials and and the question is we wish to estimate the value of square root of 101 so how how can we how can we start this we can start by letting our function f of x be square root of x now how is this helping us well let's think about what we want to find if the square root of x is going like this that's our function y is equal to the square root of x we want to evaluate we want to evaluate this function at 101 so we want to find we want to find this we want to find this y but we do not know what, what square root of 101 is that's the entire point of this but what do we know we know square root of 100 so we know this value so we know this value is square root of 100 or 10 so so how can we how can we use this 10 to estimate the square root of 101 well if you if you look at this we can let this distance be delta y we can let this distance be delta y such that square root of 101 is our value of square root of 100 plus delta y or 10 plus delta y but the thing is do we know delta y no that, that's why we're doing this in the first place but can we approximate delta y and the answer is yes if you watched my last video you know delta y can be approximated by dy or f prime of x dx differential of y or f prime of x times differential of x where differential of x is same thing as delta x so dx is 1 in this case and f prime of x is our our derivative of our function evaluated at the start of the tangent line so 100 that's where our tangent line that's where our tangent line is starting so we want to evaluate our function at 100 so let's start by finding f prime of x f prime of x we know f of x is square root of x or x to the one half so f prime of x is one half times x to the negative one half also known as one over two times square root of x so what's what's our what's our dy our dy is f prime at 100 times dx which is one so just f prime of 100 is going to be and f prime of 100 is one over two times square root of 100 which gets us 1 over 20 or 0 0.05 because you can multiply by 5 and that gets you 5 over 100 so we know so we know delta y is approximately dy or 0 0.05 so what's our what's our value of square root of 101 well that's about square root of 110 plus our approximate value of delta y or 0 0.05 or 10.05 so that's that's our guess now how close is this what's the actual value of square root of 101 what is it well using the calculator we got square root of 101 is about is about 10.0499 so 10.10.0 499 and as you can see our approximation is pretty close 